I built the best rockets for under one dollar that are safe for kids and indoors but aren't that boring or old fashioned. They're super cheap, super easy to build, and if you want to print these rocket nozzles out yourself, there will be a Thingiverse file download in the description below where you will find all the print settings I use for the version 1 and 2 rockets. Alright, enough talk, let's get into it. Hey guys, Axel Dayton here. I started by designing six different nozzles that included a straight nozzle, a rocket nozzle, a two halves nozzle, a four quarters nozzle, a rectangular nozzle, and a weird five circles nozzle. Then I 3D printed all the version one nozzles that got six balloons to go with each. This ensured that each test wasn't broken by the elasticity in the balloon being lost over time because more stretch equals less power. Now to test these rockets. Hey guys, I'm with my sister here. Hello. And uh, she's going to be helping me test the rockets. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get testing. I started out testing runtime of the rockets on the ground, and these were the results. The straight nozzle had a time of 4.68 seconds. The rocket nozzle had a time of 11.23 seconds. The two halves nozzle had a time of 4.06 seconds. The four quarters nozzle had a time of 9.58 seconds. Pretty good. The rectangular nozzle had a time of 6.98 seconds, and the five circles nozzle had a time of 9.02 seconds. These results were pretty good on the ground, but I needed to test the air time because the rocket, of course, goes in the air. The reason we did the runtime on the ground was to get the most accurate result because then they wouldn't have to lift the rig in the air. And the air results came out like this. The straight nozzle went about four feet in the air. The rocket nozzle, despite its long runtime, only got about eight inches off the ground. I think this is because of the restrictive force it had because of that small diameter hole. Then the two halves nozzle had a height of about two and a half feet, three feet. The four quarters nozzle had a height of about four feet. The rectangular nozzle had a height of about two and a half feet. And the five circles nozzle had a height of about two feet. As you can see, the nozzles were getting oriented sideways, so the balloons were spinning around instead of going up. So I had to come up with a new rocket nozzle design. After a bit more CAD, 3D printing, my sister and I got testing the airtime of the version 2 rockets. These were the results. The straight nozzle had a height of about 4 feet, the rocket nozzle had a height of about 5 feet, the two halves nozzle really surprised me with 15 feet of air before it hit the fan. The four quarters nozzle only got about one, one foot worth of air. The rectangular nozzle surprised me again with 10 feet of air. The five circles nozzle, well, we don't talk about that. I think the reason the two halves nozzle and the rectangular nozzle went the highest was because of the wall that allowed air to slowly pass along and get more laminar instead of being all turbulent like in the straight nozzle. Well, you might ask, why didn't the four quarters nozzle go the highest? Well, that's because the holes for the air to pass through are just too small, so it's too restrictive. However, if you look back at the four quarters nozzle, it had one of the most stable flights out of all the rocket nozzles I tested. So as the results show, the version 2 nozzles, specifically the two halves and the rectangular nozzle, are way better because they kept the balloon oriented straight up, making it the, a rocket instead of a top. Not only that, but they had fins to give them not only a rocket feel, but also help stabilize in the air, which also contributed to the much higher air time. Now that the results are in, it's time to go outside and see if these rockets can really reach 30 feet like it says in the thumbnail. Two, one. Holy crap! Three, two, one. No, that was kind of pathetic. Turns out they couldn't because where I was testing, uh, as soon as they would go over the wall, the wind would catch them and they would just start turning end over end. I was about to give up when all of a sudden the wind stopped and this happened. Two, one. Yo! Three, two, one. Yo! Well, there you have it. Some super simple rockets that are awesome and dirt cheap. I really enjoyed this project and I hope you did too. Make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below for any DIY projects ideas uh, that I might make in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye for now.